I'm trying to communicate a sense of knowing who you are as a person. Um, a lot of um, the aspects in it are old and antique, representing how as we grow old our memories do fade, but they're always subconsciously with us and we can always hold on to a piece of who we are because we really are still the same person. My name is Sophie McSporran and I graduated from Toronto High School in 2019. I came up with my idea when I was having a little bit of a cry to my art teacher because I didn't have an idea and everyone else in my class did and um, she asked me to think of something that meant something to me and something that was special to me and at that time it was a poem that we were studying in our advanced English course um, entitled The Shot by Ted Hughes. My work is like an oversized dartboard, so it's a metre round and instead of each section being a score or a point, each of the sections represents a different aspect of my life and a different element that is close to my heart. My materials in my work include wood, resin, uh, there's plastics, stainless steel, paper and paint. Um, and I chose those because they were really able to help me enhance my concept of branching out of who you are and looking at where your passions originate. My inspirations came from Rosalie Gascoigne and her use of wood and antiques. Uh, Pablo Picasso's use of cubism and sort of taking things apart and putting them back together and obviously the poet Ted Hughes. My project had a lot of trial and error um, elements to it so using my VAPD I was able to note down which things didn't work, what I could improve on next time and then when I went to do the final one I could look back and see where I'd gone wrong switch it up a bit if I have to or just follow the same steps to make sure that it, it worked out. In a way I'm sort of asking for a bittersweet emotional response and that it's sad that we grow old and we lose friends, we lose loved ones but at the same time we still have the memories that we can cherish and have with us. If I were to give any advice it would be to trust your visual arts teacher. They know what they're doing, they're trained professionals in, in that field and I know my visual arts teacher, I, I couldn't have produced what I have without her. I was crying on her shoulder quite often um, and she was always there to support me and help me with decisions, pull me up if something went wrong and to correspond with me and correlate with me which, which would go here, which would go there and it's really helpful to have someone there by your side and to help you with that. To have my work chosen for, for the first class exhibition is honestly a dream come true. I couldn't, have, I couldn't have ever imagined that I would be sitting here with my art in a gallery. If, if you'd have told me two, three years ago that my HSC work would be shown at the Museum of Art and Culture, I would have said you were stupid. But looking at it now, I wouldn't have changed a thing.